Hey guys, uh, welcome to Wednesday, March 25th of Fitness. So today we've got a pump for all you guys out there. Um, not to say all you males, but everybody in general. Uh, Tabata arm. So Tabata uh, is a rep scheme of eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Um, each of these Tabatas will take four minutes, right? So your first Tabata is going to be dips. Um, you'll do eight rounds of 20 seconds of dips, 10 seconds of rest, right, all the way through. And then after you're done with that, your next Tabata is going to be handstand push-ups. Then we'll go into regular push-ups and we'll finish it off with burpees. All right, so let's go over the movements. On your dips, if you have access to rings or bars, you can do unassisted dips there. If not, um, you can do dips on a chair or a box. If you're going to do that, make sure one, uh, your chair or your table um, is pushed up to something so that it's not going to tip on you, right? But you're going to put your hands behind your back. I want you to keep your back as close to the box or the chair as possible when you go down. And I'm looking for shoulders below the elbows at the bottom, drive up at the top. To make it easier, bend your legs. To make it harder, straighten out your feet. To make it even harder, elevate your feet on something else, right? If you have access to, say, two boxes or two chairs, that you can put side by side. I like this option better because it puts your shoulders in a better position. But well, you'll put your hands right next to your legs, right? Or at the sides, right next to your torso, and you're gonna dip down, same thing, shoulders below the elbows at the bottom, and then drive straight up at the top. Same scaling, bent legs is easier, straight legs is a little harder, feet elevated is the hardest. All right, so those are your dips. On the handstand push-ups, regular kipping handstand push-ups, I'd recommend doing that. If uh, you want to do the strict, your handstand push-up ninja, go for that as well. That's going to be harder. If we don't have handstand push-ups against the wall yet, we'll do box handstand push-ups, right? Again, you can do this on a chair if you like or a table. Make sure it's sturdy. If you're going to place your knees on the box, this is going to be the easier option. Hands close to the box. Head comes down in front of the hands so I can see my hands at the bottom and I'm going to drive my face towards the box at the top. To make this harder, you come onto your feet. I'm inverted. Again, I can see my hands at the bottom and I'm going to drive into full lockout, head through the window at the top. Right. So you all want to make that tripod at the bottom. I can see my hands full lockout at the top. On our push-ups, I am looking for full lockout at the top in a good plank position. Chest touches the ground at the bottom with your quads off the ground. And then back to full lockout at the top. If we aren't able to keep a straight body on the way down and on the way up yet, then I want you to elevate your hands onto any surface. Your chest touches that surface, straight body, and then drive up at the top. Right? And then plain vanilla burpees. Right? Chest touches the ground at the bottom. Get up, small jump and clap at the top. When you get to this point, remember you can always, always do a burpee. Right? It's only falling down on the ground and getting back up. So really push hard by this point. Um, here, your muscle endurance is going to be a limiting factor. So don't go to failure on these first three sessions. Always leave one to two reps in the tank. But when you get to those burpees, blast it out. What's our score? Your score for today is going to be uh, your total number of reps at the very end. Right? So if at the end of your dip Tabata you got 60 dips, then when you start your handstand push-ups, you're on 61. So remember to post your scores to the comments on uh, Instagram, Facebook, on the blog. Um, encourage another member maybe uh, to do it with you or, you know, do some trash talking on the internet. So that's always fun. But have fun with this one, guys, and uh, take a selfie afterwards. Show us your pump.